Don't you worry, don't you cry I can promise it gets better in time Keep your head up, keep your shine Hold my head up, it gets better in time Hi guys, I'm Ree. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, babe, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stay. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you guys again. So as you can tell by today's title, I don't even know what we're calling this because it's definitely not a meal prep. It's just me showing some meals that I have been enjoying while on my health and fitness journey. Some of them are lost files of content that I wasn't able to share with you guys, but I just think that they're important to show you a little bit more. And I figured it was time that we got some food content out there because I wasn't able to get food content out there last week for you guys. Also, my eating has been a little bit weird this week. I'm trying something a little bit different with my diet and there really wasn't anything for you to see. So I just wanted to give you guys some food content. I'm gonna provide you with four or five recipes one of them you might have already seen on my channel about a year ago. It's my homemade healthy chili recipe. And I think I'm, I just wanted to revisit it because it's starting to get a little bit cold outside. And what better way to warm ourselves up than with some soup or some chili. And so I thought it was only right that I popped that recipe in there for you guys. I will have all of the macros and calories on the screen at the end of each dish that I prepare. So if that's something that triggers you, please feel free to skip that. I don't want you to feel triggered. And I don't want you to think that you need to be eating exactly the amount of calories and macros that I am eating daily. I work with a nutritionist and my trainer as well they have me on about 1800 to 1950 calories daily i don't always get there i usually don't eat breakfast if i do eat breakfast it's at lunchtime, so it's like breakfast for lunch so then i'll have like breakfast and dinner i only eat two meals a day i haven't really been eating three meals a day lately it just doesn't work with my schedule i'm not really hungry in the mornings i just have coffee in the mornings really so sometimes i have to double recipes or like double my portion size to make sure that i'm not under eating because i don't want to under eat and then fall back into that binge behavior that i share with you guys on my channel that I struggle with a little bit, but I just wanted to just come on here and give you guys a disclaimer. I'm not a professional. I'm just here to give you all the food inspiration that your heart could possibly desire. This is a cool video. You're also gonna see my nails change like every recipe essentially. And that's because like I said, these are kind of lost files, but these are meals that I have been eating religiously on my health and fitness journey. So don't feel like, oh girl, like why did your nails just change in every single clip? They did, but like I cooked everything on different instances, but I just wanted to give you guys this content so that you guys could take these recipes and add them to your meal plans. I will have linked down below in the description box, my meal prep containers, my white bowls, the big white plate bowls. And I will also have a green goddess salad dressing recipe down below in the description box for you as well, in case you guys are looking for that because you don't see me prepare that, but I do use it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into today's video. So one of my absolute favorite breakfasts to have aside from oats or eggs are these Kodiak Power pancakes. I'm making the waffles today and I doubled the recipe because I knew that I had a long day. Also, according to my fitness pal, I only ate two meals this day. So I measured out two servings of the Kodiak pancake mix, added 10 grams of protein powder. I used the Alani New Protein Powder in the flavor Munchies, followed by a little bit of cinnamon, one whole egg, three quarter cups of almond milk, and a teaspoon of olive oil. And then I'm just gonna come combine it and let it sit while my waffle maker gets hot. Now that my waffle maker is hot and ready to go, I'm just going to add a quarter of a cup of the batter in and I'm going to cook the waffles until the light pops up on my waffle maker so I know it's done. I'm just gonna continue until all of my batter is used up. And now that my waffles are all done, I'm just gonna pair them with 100 grams of frozen blueberries. You can add any toppings you want. This is just what I had on hand. And then followed by 60 mils of sugar-free pancake syrup. And that's breakfast. <laughs> Thank you.
Another breakfast that I really have been loving are like these breakfast nacho kind of things. I don't really know where the recipe came from. I just threw some stuff in a pan and called it a day. But I just have one serving of crumbled frozen turkey sausage, 30 grams of red bell pepper, and 30 grams of fresh spinach. I'm just going to saute them until everything is cooked all the way through and a little bit soft. In my cast iron skillet, I am adding 230 grams of egg whites. Egg whites seem to be the best way I can get protein in because they're so so low in calorie but they have such high volume and protein content so I've been loving them so I'm just going to scramble them really quickly and then I'm going to assemble the entire skillet <laughs> My egg whites got a little bit of color on the bottom. I personally don't mind that, but if that's an issue for you, just cook them on a lower heat. I was just being impatient. But now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble all of the skillets. So I have the base of my egg whites topped with the turkey sausage mixture, then adding some black beans, some fresh pico de gallo, a little bit of avocado. Of course, we need some lime to just be a little bit extra. And then I'm actually gonna pair them with the Quest protein chips. And I believe I got them in the flavor Loaded Taco. Honestly, 10 out of 10 so good you don't have to eat them like that but I was craving nachos and I figured why not just go for it Moving on to my next meal, you know your girl loves salad, so I'm making a green goddess salad with chicken and a little bit of egg because I'm trying to get my protein in. So I'm just gonna saute some pre-seasoned chicken. I seasoned it myself and weighed it out and I just defrosted it and now I'm cooking it. I'm also boiling some hard boiled eggs for some extra protein and I'm just gonna cook the chicken all the way through because you already know we don't eat pink chicken. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and chop up my veggies. I've got about 100 grams of cucumbers, 45 grams of red onion, a little bit of jalapeno, some shelled and lightly salted edamame that I purchased from Trader Joe's, and then I'm going to peel and chop my eggs and get ready to assemble my salad. bowl I'm gonna combine 85 grams of spring mix you can use any salad mix you want but I just prefer spring mix and then I'm gonna top it with my veggies so my cucumbers jalapenos edamame red onion and then I'm topping with my homemade green goddess salad dressing I've made it before on my channel but I will have the recipe linked down below in the description box and then I'm going to toss it all together plate it in my white bowls which I purchased from Target and then top with my chicken and the eggs This next meal I feel like everybody eats. It's nothing special, but it's so quick and easy. I'm just gonna be making some quick salmon bowls with some frozen broccoli and minute jasmine rice. Honestly, do not reinvent the wheel if you don't have to. Use the shortcuts, sis. It is fine. So to begin preparing my meals, I'm just going to cut open my bags of broccoli. Also remove the film, just like the directions on the back of the rice box say, so I can pop them in the microwave for one minute. This is what the rice looks like. Before you microwave it, it looks kind of crusty, but it turns out great in the microwave I promise then in a skillet I'm going to use one and a half bags of broccoli and I'm going to season with the seasonings that are on the screen I use some red chili flakes a little bit of pink Himalayan salt garlic powder and onion powder and a little bit of black pepper you already know the drill I'm keeping it super simple because I didn't really have it in me this day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and saute the broccoli until it's cooked all the way through. This took a little bit of time because I overcrowded the pan, but it is what it is. And once it's done, I'm going to sprinkle it just with a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And that's the broccoli portion. Once 
once the rice was finished, I just let it sit in the microwave and cool down a little bit until I was done cooking the broccoli. And now I'm just going to fluff it up and set it aside so it's cooled by the time I'm ready to put it in my meal prep containers. Moving on to my salmon, I just rinsed it, patted it dry, cut it into cubes, and now I'm going to season with the seasonings on the screen. Please feel free to customize the seasonings to your palate. These are the seasonings that I prefer. They work for me, but you don't have to do everything that I say. I'm just giving you some inspiration. Remember, there's no measurements because I season with love over here, but feel free to measure if you want to. And I'm just going to toss them together and then set the salmon aside as my skillet starts to heat up. Now that my skillet is hot, I'm just gonna add my salmon bits in there and I'm going to saute them until all sides have gotten some nice golden brown color. You'll notice that my salmon got a little bit dark and that's because I walked away from the stove and forgot about them, but I don't mind the color on the salmon. So if that's a problem for you, make sure that you just attend to it. I just happened to walk away from the stove, but either way, they turned out really, really good. This took about maybe six or seven minutes because they're in bite-sized pieces. It won't take that long. And then we're gonna move on to plating them or putting them in my meal prep containers so I got these meal prep containers from Amazon they will be linked down below in the description box and I'm just going to add the broccoli the rice and salmon to these meal prep containers wait for them to cool completely before popping them in the fridge and that is that meal prep First and foremost, we are going to forgive my broken nail here. Just don't look at it. But I always get the question on how I reheat my meal prep. So I literally just take the lid off, pop it in the microwave for about two minutes for everything to heat all the way through. And then sometimes I eat it in the meal prep containers, but I like to be a little bit extra and put it in a white bowl because I just like the aesthetic look of it. These bowls I purchased from Amazon, I can have them linked down below in the description box for you as well. Just add all of the heated food into the bowl. I'm adding this general sauce sauce from the Iron Chef brand and then following up with a little bit of the Fury Kaki seasoning that I purchased from Trader Joe's and that is dinner. On to my last and final meal it's starting to get a little bit cool outside and what better way to warm yourself up than with a big bowl of chili so I'm gonna be making a healthier version of chili I featured this on my channel before but um, I figured I would revamp it so I have about 230 grams of yellow onion and probably about three to four cloves of minced garlic I just use one heaping spoonful and I'm just going to allow that to sweat and get really soft and translucent then I'm gonna be adding about 36 ounces of lean ground turkey I believe the ground turkey that I purchased was 85% lean and 15% fat and I'm just gonna add that into my skillet and I'm going to brown it and crumble it until I see no more pink in the turkey meat. Okay, now that my ground turkey and onion mixture is all good to go, I'm going to season with a lot of seasonings, but you need it because it's a lot of chili. So I'm gonna start off with four tablespoons of chili powder, a heaping tablespoon of ground cumin, a little bit of onion powder, followed by some black pepper, of course, garlic powder, because why would we do that to ourselves and not add it? And then some dried oregano leaves and then some salt. Listen, this was a lot of seasonings and it still wasn't enough for my palate, so feel free to add more. You'll see. I had to add some cumin and salt later on as I was testing to check for seasonings but if you guys want the exact recipe I will link it down below in the description box I found it on Pinterest and they have like a really great recipe there but listen you can customize it to your liking like not everybody likes super seasoned food or not everybody has the same palette some people prefer more seasonings some people prefer less seasonings and it's just about preference so do you girl
Moving on to all of the gazillion cans I need to open. I have two cans of dark red kidney beans, one can of crushed tomatoes, and one can of tomato puree. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my can opener to open this, but when I tell you I was struggling, I don't know, like, I don't know. Just thank the Lord for edits because this literally took me 12 minutes. Moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and drain all of my dark kidney beans. And I'm just gonna pop them into a little white bowl until I'm ready to add them to my actual chili. Okay, so my plan was to use my crock pot because you know we love a good crock pot moment but I had entirely too much turkey and ingredients so we put it in this little pot on the stove I added one full can of crushed tomatoes but I burnt the meat just a little bit because I thought I turned it to low but apparently I did not it was totally fine though it didn't taste burnt at all and then I'm gonna follow up with one cup of low sodium chicken broth actually I think this chicken broth had no sodium in it actually and then I added a half a cup of crushed tomatoes my drained kidney beans and then one 12 ounce bag of frozen corn and I'm just gonna mix it really well all together check for seasonings as I go and you'll see in a moment that I had to add about another tablespoon or like half a tablespoon of cumin powder and a little bit of salt to taste and then I'm gonna pop in some bay leaves mix it all together and then cook it low and slow on the stove for about three to four hours I believe I cooked mine for about four hours on the stove I'm not gonna lie I just stirred it occasionally making sure that it wasn't sticking and then that was that Now, of course, you know, I have to show you how I plan on eating it during the week. So I added about a quarter of a cup of shredded cheese, a little bit of avocado. I believe I had 45 grams, 30 grams of red onion and a little bit of fresh jalapeno. And that is basically it. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this video. If you like what you saw, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next. Mm -hmm.